So what we have here is a sachet filling unit. And it's a simple manually operated system working with gravity. The milk is placed in your gravitational tank. It then flows down into your volumetric measuring unit. It then flows down through the stainless steel tube. And then you'll see later how, uh, how the sachet is filled. But uh, this section here is the uh, sealing and cutting unit. Now the milk pray filling unit takes plastic from a continuous roll of plastic tubing, lay flat tubing. Uh, the roll comes about 20 kgs per roll. And as you can see, you can have individual logos printed onto the plastic as well. The plastic is forced over the, the, the tube. I'm going to show you now. And we try and get about 10 to 15 meters of, of tubing onto, this, onto the uh, stainless steel spout. As you can see, we push, we're forcing the plastic all the way on the spout. And that should be good for demonstration purposes. And then we just cut the plastic. Okay. Milk is placed into the gravity tank. It can be arranged so that it's constantly filled with a, a pump rather than having to fill it manually. Okay. And once there's enough in the gravity tank, we can start running the machine. sachet of the tube is, is sealed and cut. You press your foot on the uh, foot pedal and it brings the jaws together, the sealing jaws together. As you can see it seals and cuts at the same time. And the, the, sachet is, the, the tube is now ready to start filling with milk. Okay, we need to start filling the sachet with milk. So we switch the milk on just by opening the, and you can see the milk flowing down into the volumetric uh, measuring unit. Basket. Okay, the last sachet fits in, and we have our first full basket of sachets. The basket then goes into the pasteurizer, and there's the space for 12 baskets per batch in the pasteurizer. Okay, this is the pasteurizer itself, and it's a, a water tank that contains water. The water is heated, and the heat is transferred to the milk. You can see that the water, under normal circumstances, sits about halfway up, so your tank is half full when it starts. And once you've placed your milk in the pasteurizer, the water level comes up to make sure that each sachet is completely submerged in the water. That's looking inside the tank. And you can see as we place the baskets into the water, the water level starts to rise. Until all 12 baskets are in the pasteurizer. That's the, the control box. You can see the actual temperature is in green. That's the actual water temperature at any one time. And that's the target temperature. That's the temperature that the, the control box is trying to get the water temperature to come up to. Once it reaches that 65 degrees, and a timer engages automatically and goes on for 30 minutes after which the, uh, the pasteurization cycle is complete. Then the audible alarm sounds, 
and at the same time the cycle completes and light switches on to alert the operator that the pasteurization cycle is complete. Once this happens, pasteurizer, the pasteurizer is emptied and the, and the sachets are then placed in a chilling tank, which you'll see a little bit later. Once the pasteurizer is full with baskets, you can see each of the sachets is completely submerged in the water. So you've got maximum contact between water and the milk for heat transfer. We then close the pasteurizer. You can see that the actual temperature of the milk is at 47 degrees and climbing. Trying to reach 65 degrees. Once 65 is reached, the automatic timer will engage and run for 30 minutes. The chilling tank is designed to cool your pasteurized milk as quickly as possible, down to less than 5 degrees centigrade. And once again, it is a water bath, and instead of hot water, obviously we've got iced water to cool your milk as quickly as possible. The water sprays are just showing how the water is circulated throughout the, the, the chilling tank to make sure that continually cold water is sprayed on top of your sachets containing hot milk. Okay, you can see the temperature of the water has reached the target temperature and the flashing light indicates that the timer has now engaged. It will run for 30 minutes and then the alarm will go off to alert the operator that the cycle is complete. You can see how long the cycle has to run by pressing, it's a 30 minute cycle, and we have 29 minutes left to run. Now the alarm goes off. To reset the alarm, you just switch it off like that, and then back on again. Okay. From here we unload the pasteurizer. We take the baskets out one at a time. We place them in the chilling tank. We float the sachets in the water. So each sachet then has maximum opportunity to cool down as quickly as possible. Then we have got to take out. Okay, now that the sachets are in the chilling tank, it takes anything between 20 minutes and 2 hours for the sachets to cool down to a good storage temperature of less than 5 degrees. And as long as the milk is kept at that temperature, less than 5 degrees, we've got people who say that it lasts as long as 6 weeks before showing signs of spoilage. So it's, uh, it's a very clean and very hygienic process.